Hi, my name is Gwen Saul, and I am Curator of Cultural Anthropology or Ethnography here at the New York State Museum. One of the perks of my job is overseeing the growth of our contemporary indigenous art collection. And today I want to talk about one of the artworks in the collection that is currently on display here at the museum. Before I begin, I want to acknowledge that the museum stands on the ancestral lands of the Mahi Konyok, people of the waters that are never still, whose descendants recognize themselves as the Stockbridge Munsee Mohican people, as well as ancestral lands of Ganingahaga or Mohawk Haudenosaunee peoples. I'm also going to use the term today Haudenosaunee, although some of you may be more familiar with the term Iroquois. So on that note, I want to introduce to you artwork by Shelley Nero. Shelley Nero is a Mohawk artist. She grew up on the Six Nation Reserve in what is now Canada. She is currently represented by the You Me Gallery in Hamilton, Ontario. And amongst her numerous awards and accolades, she was recently presented with an honorary doctorate from her alma mater, the Ontario College of Art and Design, in 2019. So this digitized photograph on stretched canvas behind me was purchased by the New York State Museum in 2017. Now, I became familiar with Shelley's work through the catalog to an exhibit at the Tang Teaching Museum and Art Gallery in uh, Saratoga Springs, Skidmore College, um, through an exhibit in 2002, Staging the Indian, The Politics of Representation, which includes an essay, and the exhibit included artwork by Shelley Nero. So I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the words that she has to say about her own work from this essay. So in this uh, photograph, um, we see a relative of Shelley's, Jody Hill, and Shelley is a prolific filmmaker, photographer, and painter. And her photography often incorporates her own family members and even herself in her work. So in this particular photograph, her relative Jody Hill is holding a turtle rattle in one hand and paintbrushes and painting tools in the other. Now, a turtle rattle is a object of great ceremonial significance and importance to Haudenosaunee people. There are specific members of Haudenosaunee communities who know how to make a turtle rattle, the protocol involved, the process involved, and there are specific members of the community who understand the responsibility of taking care of a turtle rattle and how it should be used uh, within a ceremonial space and at specific times for Haudenosaunee communities. As a non-Haudenosaunee person, when I see this turtle rattle, I can immediately recognize that it has great spiritual and ceremonial significance to Haudenosaunee people. Some Haudenosaunee people might be concerned at the presence of this sacred object in a photograph. Um, and so in thinking about that concern, I want to share what Shelley has written about her own work. She writes, I think I feel a pressure to get it right and to not offend and not exploit my own knowledge about our people. And she continues, sometimes too, I don't want to work within a comfort zone and want to be a little bit on the edge. So here perhaps she is pushing the edge and including an object of ceremonial and sacred significance that Haudenosaunee viewers are going to understand on a different level than non-Haudenosaunee people. Um, but she is doing it in a very respectful manner. In Jody Hill's other hand, you'll see painting tools and paintbrushes. So that's an interesting contrast from the turtle rattle in the other hand. Over here, we have tools that are uh, not originally from Haudenosaunee communities, but certainly um, tools that Haudenosaunee people have easily adapted to create their own artistic expressions about what it means to be Haudenosaunee and what 
it means to be an Indigenous person today. The title of this piece, Surrender Nothing Always, is another um, entrance, I think, into understanding the humanity and the beauty of Shelley Nero's work. When we think about the ways in which Haudenosaunee history has been written and discussed by non-Haudenosaunee, non-Indigenous people, we might first think about the displacement of lands, the loss of land, the forcible removal of children from communities to boarding schools where they suffered numerous abuses, the loss of language, and in some cases, the loss of cultural traditions. However, Shelley's challenging us to think about Haudenosaunee history and contemporary Haudenosaunee life in a different way. Nothing has been surrendered. In fact, Haudenosaunee communities and nations, artists and people and students continue to thrive today, to express themselves, to discuss and analyze their own histories. And we're so lucky to live in a state where we can learn from and listen to Haudenosaunee scholars and artists today. So I want to invite you to please visit the museum in person and come see this beautiful artwork by Shelley Nero and Think about it in your own terms and perhaps learn a little bit more about contemporary Indigenous art in what is now New York. Thank you.